everybody, welcome back to Pokemon Shield. Now, Sinistee does appear in both Sword and Shield, um, so that's worth noting. I'm going to attempt not to not uh, hurt Sinistee too much. I do want to catch this this little guy. Now, this appears in the Gloom Spiked <laughs> Gloomwood Wheel. Anyway, let's let's go and capture this, and then we can go over everything else. Now, I am going to keep this separate to. Um, to evolve in Sinistee because there's a little bit more involved with it. There is a cracked part in the town before it, but we need to go around and get more of them just in case you want to continue to evolve this little guy. Um, let's just get a status effect on you with Will O Wisp, and then I think it would be pretty good to start throwing out some, uh, some Pokeballs. Um, my, po my Pokemon are a little bit high level to, uh, to go attacking it, so we're just going to throw some Great Balls out here. Hope this will be enough. Nope, it's going straight out. Protect, it's fine. Burn's going to slow. Ooh, no, that's not going to So slowly work its, work its magic. Give me that Sinistee. Now it, uh, you have to encounter Sinistee in the uh, underworld. There are no overworld. I don't think there are any overworld spawns in this area, which is uh, kind of interesting. It's going to take a little bit longer than I'd like to ruin. Two minutes? No, we're really on a minute, minute 30 seconds. Let's just get caught up to show you, mate. Hey, and there we got Sinistee. Cool looking Pokemon. Hey, so Sinistee, ghost type. Uh, so we're going over evolving that later on. Essentially, it's going to evolve. So, yeah, you just need these uh, exclamation marks to make it appear. Obviously, in terms of on the map, we are in Glimwood Tangle. There we go. Um, so yeah, Glimwood Tangle. You want to go into the exclamation marks. Kind of, kind of a rare occurrence. I actually came across a pony before I came across that, which is interesting. Uh, and then to evolve it, it just kind of wants... Just kind of wants... One of those. Is it a U sign? U ah, so it gives a bit of a U sign. Cool. So just use a teapot on it and get to evolve it. Anyway, uh, we'll go over that separately. Hopefully this helps you guys get the Pokemon. And I'll catch you all in the next video. See you then.